Get down there. You guys want me to say anything or just like rise up? No, you're doing a good job down there. Yeah. That just... No, just like rise up. <laughs> Eric noticed that he did. Today is sponsored by Evans Brewing Co. <laughs> Please sponsor us. We need money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll dive into Windows Hello after the break. Oh, I'm patience for this. <laughs> hey guys, Eric with Nerds of the Roundtable here with another review. Today we have a Logitech 4K web camera. It is the Logitech Brio, and we have Lauren with us today to showcase it. Here you are. Thank you, sir. So why did you get this camera? You know what? I was actually interested in doing some more Twitch streaming and uh, I needed a webcam for school. So decided why not look into this sweet Logitech Brio. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and what a good choice. You've definitely you. uh, protected yourself for the future uh, going 4K. Uh, and I've always kind of had the belief that if you can get a 4K camera and still only do 1080p, it's going to look really good mm -hmm. uh, versus having a camera that can only do 1080p. So I think this is uh, going to be a good fit for you. I agree. I think you'll like it. Uh, but we're going to try it out. This is fresh box, fresh ordered from Amazon as soon as it was released. Uh, he's been holding on to it for a week or so. I know. Fresh sealed still. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with the weight on this thing. Definitely. Uh, there's It's like a brown box with a camera, documentation, cable, and a bag. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in here, so this must be a substantial piece of hardware. Yeah, definitely. Uh, plain box. I'm surprised it didn't come with like any type of sleeve or anything. Yeah, I don't know why that was. Uh, hmm. Might be that it's more like aim more towards uh, the professional market, like more towards businesses, yeah. or they're not, it's not gonna be sitting on the shelf. Uh, but look at you being a badass. Uh, it does say it's certified to work with Mac, Windows 10, Windows 8, and Skype for Business, and also Cisco. Uh, not sure if that means Jabber or their uh, other codecs that use just a USB camera, uh, but we'll definitely look into that and get back. Let's say you, we open this. I will give either you or Sean the honors of opening uh, it. Seeing how I'm going to get to have it at home anyway. That's true. Let's see how this guy looks. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. That's good. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, wow, they just put it right out there in front of you uh, in the box. Download camera settings software. Got a nice piece of foam on the inside here. Here, we'll... Uh, okay, Mike's there. Damn it! Oh, there's Mike in the frame. It's even better. No, do this. We need these. Yeah, I drop this them. is even better. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty heavy. I'm pretty it surprised. It's a good size. Uh, oh yeah, I see that what you're saying. Would yeah. you like to hold it? Yeah. Wow. I like the metal. So it's pretty good size. It's got a nice uh, kind of uh, black front with a. Uh, Kind of like an aluminum cover on it. On the back, we have a USB-C connector here. Here, let's take this uh, foam piece out. Oh, I like the little mount to it. It's wow, that's really nice. So you have the main camera here in the center. You have a IR emitter and an IR camera for Windows Hello, which is a Facial recognition software built into Windows 10 mm -hmm. uh, that allows you to unlock your computer from looking at it awkwardly. Uh, also has stereo mics <laughs> <laughs> on the front, and that's about it. Yeah. What else we got in the box? Let's see. Let's see it all. I'm breaking of it. Hmm. More cardboard. Awesome. Great. All right. So we got. USB-C to USB 3.0 or 3.1 connector. Looks like it. And possibly piece of plastic. Bag. 
the sweet bag you mentioned. Yeah, earlier. sweet bag. Sweet carrying bag. Don't need that. <laughs> Instructions, don't need that. I don't think we need any of this either. <laughs> Actually, we might need this Important one. safety, compliance, and warranty. Oh, oh, okay. oh you do warranty. take it off. You take off the bottom. Oh, cool. And put it on the tripod. Where's the tripod? Oh, this is the privacy shade. They didn't give me one. <laughs> that will be useful, you know what? Because I'm an adult. And sometimes I get naked in my bedroom, and I don't want you creepers looking at me. Or do I? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, also on the bottom you have a quarter twenty, so the uh, base just snaps off. Ooh. So you can quickly disconnect That's it. That's pretty cool. And then it also comes with a privacy shade that just goes on the top. And as you can... As you can see, flip down in front of the camera. It's nowhere close in focus. Uh, for your privacy needs. They can still listen in the NSA. That's true. Uh, but Considering the price, you would hope that they would have a privacy cover. I know some of the earlier models did not, but I'm like, come on, 200 bucks. You might as well include that. I don't want to put a sticky note on top of it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. For being a, a professional product, uh, I definitely think it's actually kind of a nice feature. Mm -hmm. uh, you have pretty good size cable here. Uh, let's see how long it is. Actually, it comes with a Velcro retainer. That's what she Ooh. said. Not the Velcro. That's like, oops. It's like eight feet. That's pretty good. Seven to eight feet. That's yeah. nice. Now, the one criticism I'm going to have is they couldn't afford the right Logitech. They could only put Logi. Low guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That just connects into there. Is it USB-C? Yep, USB-C. So you can buy nice. a standard USB-C cable, uh, which is actually nice. So if you have a desktop, probably something I'm going to have to get, but uh, that's fine. Uh, cool. So you can get a USB-C to USB-C if you have USB-C on your computer. So if you have a desktop computer, you can have this one all nice cable managed in. And then if you want to take it somewhere on the road, you can just unplug it, have a separate cable used with your laptop on the road. Nice. Land parties, whatnot. Nerdy things. Uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior. I'm pretty excited. We'll have some nice glamour shots of this thing. Hopefully. It's been a couple of weeks since our review. It's been, it's taken some time, but we are actually sitting down and doing side-by-side -side comparisons between the Logitech Brio and a standard Logitech camera. We are looking at the C615 Logitech camera, which is a 1080p 30 camera. Only a couple of resolutions that it supports, interestingly enough, but we also compared it to the... Brio and a couple different resolutions within the Brio. Uh, within the Brio, we looked at 4K 30, 1080p 60, and 720p 30. I did 720p 30 just to see what it looked like. It, you won't see a quality difference, really, especially in someone just kind of sitting there uh, talking, especially what you're going to see on a webcam. So I'm perfectly fine with doing 30. I know I'm going to get hate for it, but let's take a look. Alright, so the first one we are looking at is the Logitech Brio at 4K30. This one I have set up, so it is the camera up in front of a window facing towards me. So this is giving me a lot of light, mostly on one side of my face. Open window. So there's going to be a lot of light. So it's going to have a hard time really 
making sure that one side of my face isn't too dark and the other side isn't too blown out. So let's take a look. As you can see, it actually looks really clear. I'm surprised. Not too bad on edge enhancement. Uh, all the colors look good. And so does the white balance. I'm very impressed. Nothing looks too bland out and nothing looks too dark. I'm very impressed. And our next one is 1080p 60. And our next one is 720p 30. And now we're going to look at the Logitech Brio and a couple other different lighting situations. Now we're going to do with the window to my back with the window wide open. As you can see on this, it actually does pretty good filling out my face. Uh, with, but the background does look blown out and it, you do get this kind of halo effect from the light, which I'm kind of surprised about. Now our next one is still 4K30, but we are comparing it with same thing where we have the camera against the window and my back towards the inside of the room, but I've closed the blinds. So this still allows light through, but this is more like the natural uh, ideal lighting environment. My face is being lit, room being lit by natural light, but it still looks good. And this one actually looks really good. I'm very impressed with the uh, color, with the white balance it looks very nice so now we're actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison at each cam with each camera in the same situation at its highest resolution so our first one we're going to look at is both cameras side by side tripods in the same position i literally swapped out the cameras on the quarter 20 adapter and let's see what it looks like as you can tell the logitech brio is much clearer and the white balance is much better now let's look at it with the window to our back. As you can see, the you hardly see my face at all with the older camera. Now with the ideal lighting condition with the blinds closed, let's see how it looks. <laughs> That's nice. I'm right here. <laughs> Did they really notice that? And Eric noticed that, but he didn't. 